Okay, so let's start mixing up some styles right now. This exercise formatting text is asking us to uh, simulate something like this, like this image here. We gotta use, like it says here, headings, paragraph, strong, block code, all those tags. So let's start uh, doing it. First, we, we start with this, right? It's, it's a heading because it's something huge. It's like a big text. This will be your heading. Oh, by the way, I didn't follow the rule of always be closing first and then continue with your life. My bad. I gotta do it from now on. Then we go to the second one. So I close my paragraph. And then, then you start talking about some interesting stuff that nobody wants to read. Then the next one is another paragraph because it's it's very similar to the other one, right? Just a paragraph. Then you can quote someone to add credibility. By the way, these paragraphs are useful because they, they put some space in between every group of uh, words, like a real paragraph in real life. That's why we use a P tag so much. Then, since there's a quote, uh, what I would normally do if I don't know the answer, I would say how to add a quote into HTML. So like this, like how to, let's look for it in Google. You will say how to add a quote, quote in HTML. And it will tell you right away that you gotta use the quotation, the citation elements, it's short for this, by the way, but you can have the big one, the long one, that is called the block quote. It's the same one. So we're going to use that tag. You can see an example here, how it works. You can also put the seat to the actual, or the site to the actual uh, website where you took the, the information from. But going back to the exercises, basically we put block quote, then we close it, and then we put inside a quotation is hand is a handy thing to have about saving one the trouble of thinking for oneself always a laborious business. And then within the same quote, we're going to put the author that we can put it we like with a span or with a P. I'm going to put a P just to have to take advantage of the space that it, it put. A, A, Milne, if I may. And then to finish, we put some another additional paragraph that's going to say, finally, you can have some bullets to summarize everything after all new generations have these things in common and then it's an order list because it's bullets uh, un order my bad it's a ul instead of an ol that is the one we use in the previous exercise and in this case it's a ul because we don't want the, the bullets to contain numbers so we're just going to put a bunch of ULs again inside, in this case, three ULs. And then the first one's going to say, don't like to read long texts. Then the other one says, have a span of attention of a bird. And then the last one says, skip long texts paragraphs straight to the bullet points so here it is now let's test it it should look very very similar apparently we have a, a an issue here uh before the body closing tag so i forgot probably to close something let's review everything ah yeah all the ul's are missing the the forward slash that makes them a closing tag so now it's right. And you can see that it looks very, very similar to the example. 
actually this this ul doesn't show up for some reason ah because i put ul there and it's it's uh these are li's my bad the small ones are list elements or list items and outside of it, it they are wrapped in a unordered list so that was my, my problem you see now they do have the bullets so that matters like you, everything matters you know so what happens if I don't choose, like for example in the block code, if the AI Miller I don't put in a P tag? What if I put it just like this? HTML will ignore the white spaces. Look, it will assume it's in the end because that's what HTML does. It ignores the white spaces. So what you can do is that you can, if you don't want to ignore the white spaces, but you are not sure about the format, just put it in a P tag. You know, let's put it in a P tag. Let's say in a P tag, not in a span. That is the smallest one, or the, the less intrusive. It doesn't add many format, just normal text. So, A, A, you know, if I may. may. Let's try. It's still there. And now, let's put in a P, and you'll see how it will jump the line, because that's what P does. Is, that's what a, what a P will do. You can also put a BR. A BR will jump the line, but I don't like BRs much. I don't use them much. I almost don't use them. So if you found a solution using a BR, uh, don't use it because it's not a good practice. It will end up giving you trouble in the long run, the BR element. That's it.